Are you thinking about starting your own small business while being at home? Great. But before you do, there are a few things you should know. Grab a pen and paper as we take you through them. To be a small business owner, you will need to develop or improve on a number of skill sets if they don't already come naturally to you. Starting with the characteristics of a small business owner, because you'll ultimately be responsible for the decision making. This will ensure perseverance in achieving your business goals and objectives. This will help you mitigate the risks involved. And this is required to ensure that your product or service is distinguishable from competitors in the market. How you showcase yourself compared to your competitors is important. Think about your personal brand and how you want customers to identify with you. To gain more knowledge about the industry that you want to operate in and how it relates to other markets, you have to be the expert on your own business. If you already possess these qualities, great. Next, we'll look at the reasons to start a business. You have identified a gap in the market. You get to do something you enjoy. You get to be your own boss and you get the chance to help create jobs for your community and our economy. And now, key requirements to start a business. You need to work hard to be successful. You need to be willing to commit 110% when things get tough. You must have the patience for when challenges arise. You need to understand your market and business feasibility. Your market being a client or customer that needs your product. A feasible business has definite clients or customers that want your product. It's also important to look at the challenges and risks of starting a business. This requires some creativity and the ability to find innovative solutions. You must be able to convince investors about your business idea. You will need to find a location that is suitable for your business operations. Consider what skills your business requires to build a good recruitment strategy. This is a constant challenge. You need to be creative to gain a competitive advantage. Despite all your planning, unforeseen events such as bad debts, government red tape, lawsuits and resignations will happen and you'll need to find a solution for them. Many financial institutions and entities may be reluctant to lend you money without a proven track record. Be careful how you utilize your own capital to fund your business. Ensure that you have done market research and understand the risks associated when testing your product. You'll need to rely on the performance and abilities of employees, particularly when they're managing the business in your absence. Lastly, if you're on your own, starting a business is risky because the operation of your business is wholly dependent on you. If you're still keen to start a business, your next step is to assess your business idea by answering these questions. What are all the advantages or benefits of the idea? Have you established some of the problems your idea is expected to solve? Is there a need for it in the market to justify starting your business? Does your idea satisfy a consumer need in the market? Have you done enough market research before you register your potential business with the CIPC? Or do you still need to test the market first? Is your idea based on an entirely new concept or is it a new adaptation? Are there other small business owners in your community that you can work with on your idea? What immediate or short-term gains or results can be anticipated? Write down your results and review all the short-range gains. What long-term benefits can be anticipated? Write down all your results and review all the long-range benefits. Have you checked the idea for faults or limitations? What shortfalls are there that you can refine over time? Don't wait for a product to be perfect before you launch it. Are there any problems the idea might create? Have you considered variations or alternatives? Does your idea have marketing appeal? What is your competition doing in this area? Can your business compete? What are you offering that is different? Have you considered the possibility of user resistance or difficulties? Have you tested your product with your market? If you're happy with the answers to these questions, you're off to a good start. Next, we look at how to research your market. To start and run a successful business, you need to be aware of your potential and existing customers and the market you intend to operate in. Statistics and other market research can assist you in making informed decisions about your business. If you're struggling with data to access research, feel free to visit one of our Cape Access Centers. 
always remember, your market is going to change. So be sure that you're always informed about your customer and your customer's needs. Knowledge is power. The more you research, the better your chances of not failing. Once you have an improved understanding of your market, you should start preparing a business plan, financing your business, and getting familiar with the compliance needs of your business. As a business owner, you need to be fully aware of all your compliance measures and industry bodies regulating your sector for your business to succeed. For example, SARS or HACCP. Did you know that being registered on the Central Supplier Database, the Western Cape Supplier Evidence Bank and Municipal Database, as well as with SARS, opens a world of access to opportunities for you as a supplier if you wish to do business with local, provincial and national government. I understand that in order for me to supply a service to the government, I need to comply with the database registration processes and the importance of registering my business with SARS. Most importantly, you can also compete in the providing of a service to all Western Cape government departments if you ensure that you are a registered supplier. If you're thinking of providing a service to the government, it's important that you comply with national and or provincial and or municipal databases. Make sure you understand the regulations around your industry and what it takes to be a successful business owner in your sector. Always remember, you can never do enough market research. Lastly, did you know that an added advantage of being registered with SARS and remaining compliant is that this will improve your chances of accessing funding opportunities as and when they happen by government departments. We have projects running from time to time but will only provide you with the chance to access this funding if you meet all requirements of the call for funding. Being registered with SARS is one of them. If you need more information on registering as a supplier for the Western Cape government, contact our Procurement Client Centre on wcseb at westerncape.gov.za and we will assist you with any inquiries you have. Remember, the National Central Supplier Database is separate to our own system as a province and you will need to ensure that you are registered on both to access the full range of opportunities. If you're experiencing any challenges with red tape as a business owner, contact us directly via our webpage and we will be happy to assist you. Brought to you by the Red Tape Reduction Unit of the Department of Economic Development and Tourism.